What's going on, everybody? I'm going to tell a story about how I woke up in a the library at Rutgers, in the main library, looking at the boots of two police officers while I was under a desk. Um, it started when I, I... So I started Uber in 2016, in September, and I made a good bit of money until the end of October uh, when I had totaled my car. And I decided to give up on Uber at that point, and I tried to do... I kind of threw spaghetti at the wall and um, tried to make things work, tried to make money in different ways. And um, I was going from couch to couch to couch, staying for a night at one friend and a night at one friend and a night at one friend. And I was previously living in my car because I had dropped out of college and my dad was like, you know what, I was paying for your rent so you could go to college. Now I'm not going to pay for your rent. And I'm like, oh, damn, I guess that makes sense. So I, I tried to argue with him. Of course, I was desperate. Um, he, didn't, uh, he didn't give me the, um, he, didn't, he didn't help me out, uh, understandably, because those, those were his terms. He stuck to them. And I didn't have a, um, something I could rely on no matter what, like Uber, which is one reason why I love it. And no matter what happens, I know I can drive around and make some money. Um, and it keeps me feeling safe that no matter whether an adventure I'm doing doesn't work out or whether... Um, whether like I, I don't have to worry about my boss firing me, I can just go drive for Uber almost any time and make some money. But I didn't have that at the time because I'd totaled my car and I didn't decide to find a way to get another car, which was possible, I just didn't realize it at the time. I went ahead and um, I went from couch to couch, but there was one night where I couldn't find somebody to, to work with. I couldn't find a couch to sleep on. So um, I still had my RUID, which was an ID card, and I still was registered in the system. So I went into the school library, um, acted like I was studying, and then just went and slept under a desk. Now, in the morning, um, I woke up and I saw these boots and these pants, I think they're like dark blue pants, and I saw like belt, and there were, you know, a gun on the belt, baton. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta leave. And they're like, who, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Joe, I'm Joseph Bokov. He's like, do you, do you go to Rutgers? And I'm like, yeah, here's my ID. They run my numbers, I'm still registered. They're like, oh, okay, uh, just don't sleep under the desk. <laughs> don't sleep in the library. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. And, um, and uh, they... They they let me they let me be and they they walked away, but I was petrified, man. I didn't know what to do. I had nothing that I could do. Um, I ended up finding a couple places, a couple more friends that had places to sleep, and I got a job at Walmart. And um, having this job at Walmart was like okay, I have to. It was minimum wage, and it was a little bit more than minimum wage because of working in electronics. And, um, and I remember that, and then it, this was, this was like November and I remember I was working there for a few weeks and they tell me, Hey, you have to work, uh, Thanksgiving. I'm like, all right. And then whatever, I'm, I'll get overtime pay. Um, found out there's no overtime pay. I go in and it's just regular pay. This was the, before they stopped making people work on Thanksgiving. Um, and, but, um, but they gave you this coupon that was like, Hey, 15% off 10, it was 15% off one item. Um, but the issue, it was weird because you had to buy it by the end of Friday, by in the black Friday, but you couldn't buy, you couldn't use it on your shift. But the thing is everybody was working both of those days, almost the whole day. You couldn't use, so it was it was almost an unusable coupon. It was like, hey, here's 15% off one item. An unusable coupon, pretty much. How, it did, because you had to use it on a certain days that you couldn't use it on because you were scheduled for work. It was like, you have to use it off your schedule, but you're scheduled those whole days. It was like weird. Um, and so I wanted this Chromebook because uh, my laptop had broken or something like that. And I wanted this Chromebook. I wanted to get it. And I went up to him to my, my, the, my boss, and I'm like, hey, like, I like to use this coupon, but they're telling me I have to use it by this day, but I'm scheduled the whole day, 
And he's like, all right, well, talk to the general manager. Talk to the general manager. He's like, blah, 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 blah. Talk to the area manager. Here's her number. I call her up, leave her a message because she doesn't answer lowly employees like me. You have to leave her a message. She calls me back. And I'm like, hey, this is the situation. And she's like, well, you should talk to your general manager. I'm like, well, he told me to talk to you. So can you just give me an answer? Like, I need to, I need to, do, to do this. And she's like, oh, well, we're not going to do it. There's only those days. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Are you goddamn serious? I'm going to swear be- and this is something that I'm cool with. And if you're not cool with this, I'm sorry, my content isn't for you. I, I like being authentic and real. So I'm going to swear. And I was like, are you fucking serious? I was going to go to my family's Thanksgiving dinner that they invited me to. I don't always get to do that. I was going to go to see them for Thanksgiving and you're telling me I can't fucking do that and 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 I already I already missed it. This was a Friday. This was the day after. I already fucking missed that. So you're saying that you the, the coupon you gave me for working on that day, I can't use? That's fucking bullshit. And she finally was like and it was it was even worse because after that she's like, "Okay, well what do you want to buy?" I'm like, well, I want to buy this Chromebook. And she's like, how much is it? And I'm like, it's 219 plus tax. And she's like, okay, 219 plus tax, 15% is like about 30 something dollars, like 30, I don't know, six, 37. She's like, okay, yeah, sure. 36 bucks off, that makes sense, that's fine. And I'm like, are you fucking serious that you went through all this math to figure out how much you would lose, even though you should have paid me time and a half or double time for working on Thanksgiving? I was so fucking mad at her. I was so mad at her that not only did she give me a hard time and try to give me the runaround and try to say no, but she also, when she said yes, she did it as if I was just like a fucking slave. It really pissed me off to high heaven. And I was like, ooh, that was one of the last pins in the coffin for me to uh, ever work for a company, a corporation again. I did go through periods of time where I worked for a corporation between then and when I decided to finally go all in to Rideshare. But one thing that I'm really grateful for is that not only does Rideshare put me in charge of my schedule, yes, I still have to put hours into it to get money out, but it puts me in charge of my schedule. Not only does it do that, but one thing that I found is it's it, 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 it makes much more than any retail job I've ever had and much more than a lot of manager jobs at retail. It makes a lot, like right now in, in Austin at the moment, because it goes up and down to an extent, at the worst periods of time during the pandemic, it was actually very hard, if not unusable, for a few months just because of the pandemic. But when that came up and things were going slow, it was going maybe, it was like maybe 20 to 25 bucks an hour. And that's the worst period when it was usable. So like the for the last several months before here in Austin, Texas, we opened um, things up here. Um, the last several months, people were scared to go in Ubers, didn't want to go as many places. And that was still 20 to 25 bucks um, an hour at average. Uh, now it's 35 to 40 bucks on average an hour. That's pretty fucking good. That's like three or four times what you'd make at most retail jobs. It's pretty damn good. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, I'm putting together a coaching course for people who want to um, to make money in Uber, to be in charge of their schedule, especially if you're in a food service or a retail job where you're not in control of your schedule. You have to you have to um, you have to say fr- say to friends, "Hey, no, I'm not going to hang out with you." Um, I know what that feels like. It absolutely sucks. I had to tell my family I'm not going for Thanksgiving, and then I wasn't even paid extra. It sucks so much. You have to deal with shitty bosses. I've had bo- I've had one boss yell in my ear at 3 a.m. drunk as fuck because I made a couple of silly mistakes when they barely gave me any training. And I was and I was left alone without any manager to help me. Nobody, zero actually was the only person, the only employee in the store. It was bad. Um, so yeah, I, I I am so grateful for Uber being here, and I want to help other people, especially creative guys, because I know that you guys want some extra time to do your creative projects, and um, it's hard to make that extra time when you have a job. So Uber really helps with that. I want to help you. I want to coach you guys. It would really make me happy if I could coach people to be in charge of their schedule, pay their bills, and actually save up some money so they could leverage that to make even more money. Um, 
and that's that. So uh, I think I said my spiel. I hope that you like this. If you want to get on a call with me um, for, for coaching, for helping you build Uber into your lifestyle and free up that time, excuse <laughs> me, make your schedule more flexible and more give you more control over your life, um, there's a link in the description that um, says book a call with me and you can book a call with me and we'll talk and I'll make sure that you get the freedom you deserve and the control over your life. Love you guys. Till next time.